Kahapon ang 17th birthday ng anak ni Tiffany. Isang magandang regalo daw sana kung humingi ng tawad ang Vancouver Police Department. Sa insidenteng nangyari noong nakarang buwan, kaugnay sa ginawang racial profiling daw ng police. They were hanging out at Churchill Secondary about 9.30 p.m. around the grassy field area. Um, and like every year, they, they just meet up before the school year starts. Um, at some point, the police came and came upon the kids, asked them to pour their drinks out, and my son was the only one that was grabbed by a police officer. Um, according to my son, he, the police officer told him to go home and pushed him. Uh, when my son turned around, the police officer that grabbed him previously a few minutes before, um, basically was pointing at him and had his hand on his weapon. September 9th nangyari ang insidente, tinawagan ng police si Tiffany nung gabi ngayon at pagdating niya sa paaralan, ito ang tanong niya sa police. I asked him why my son was the only one that was detained and he informed me that he was non-compliant. Um, and that's why he was that he was the one that was grabbed but in further questioning i asked why i was the only mom there and the police officer said it's because all the other kids would not give us their names so we couldn't call their parents so my questioning is if my son was so non-compliant how did they get his name and my phone number to call me, yet these other children are sitting like several feet away and nobody's saying anything to them, even though they were apparently non-compliant either. Hindi man sinabi ni Tiffany sa officer na naniniwala siyang ito ay isang kaso ng racial profiling, binanggit naman ito ng mga kaibigan ng kanyang anak sa paaralan at sa police. The police officer continued to say that he was hurt, that they believed that he was racially profiling, that he was insulted, that they would accuse them of police brutality. And when I said to the police officer that, you know, after everything that we're seeing on the news, who could blame the kids? He told me that that does not happen in Canada. But yet in front of me, my son has been racially profiled because of the 20 plus kids that were at this gathering. He was the only one that was detained. Dagdag pa ni Tiffany, posibleng matroma ang kanyang anak sa nangyari. Um, my concern is the trauma and the mental health implications. I don't know how this is going to manifest in the future. And I'm hoping it, it and I'm hoping it doesn't traumatize him. Nagsampan ng reklamo laban sa officer si Tiffany sa tanggapan ng VPD pero wala daw sagot sa reklamo niya. Nang tanungin ng Omni TV ang VPD tungkol rito, inimbestigahan na raw ang kaso ni Tiffany ng kanilang Professional Standards Section. Wala muna silang comment ngayon. Nag-file din si Tiffany ng report sa Office of the Police Complaint Commissioner sa Victoria. Um, it stated that my complaint is admissible and there is going to be um, an investigation. They're calling it abuse of authority. At isa lang daw ang gusto nila. For my son, I'd like the police officer to actually apologize to him. Teresa Barrera, Omni News, Vancouver.